I'm George Lippo, president and founder of the International Beethoven Project and artistic director of the Beethoven Festival, based in Chicago. I founded the Beethoven Festival in 2011 because of a deep-seated frustration with the way the business of classical music was being conducted and also because I had a big dream that I wanted to follow and I decided to take a leap of faith. I'm a classical musician, but I wanted to rock. I wanted the world that I was in, that I loved, to be much more energetic, to have something to say that was relevant to the world that I lived in. And I felt like classical music needed not just a revolution, but maybe a rebellion. And that's what I got engaged in doing. The perception of classical music is stale. People might even think that Beethoven is a conservative old German man. But actually, Beethoven was a rock star. And we need a little bit more rock star attitude in classical music today. Beethoven was the most famous living composer and performer in his day. He was known in America, in Russia, in England, and throughout continental Europe. And 20,000 people marched in the streets when he died and this before Facebook and Twitter. I think that's pretty amazing. Beethoven was a rebel, he was a challenger, and he was a believer. He fought conventions to be a unique musician. He respected tradition, but pushed it forward. He fought his own personal difficulties with health. He became deaf in his 30s. He had other ailments that put him to bed for weeks at a time. He contemplated suicide. He was unlucky in love. He didn't have a lot of money. He had family troubles with his brothers, his parents. And yet, he continued to create and give us these incredible works of art for generations to enjoy. For me, this festival allowed for crazy experimentation, for designing an experience that really fully integrated with the world at large and within the world of the arts to integrate between all forms of art and all audiences. This festival is about expressing the thrill of life. It's about being curious. It's about connecting the dots between audience and stage. It's about bringing people together from all sectors of society, of all generations. It's about co-creating and collaborating between artists and different art forms. It's about making the world a better place, one beautiful thing at a time. We need to change the way we think about classical music. First of all, there's nothing classical about it. Secondly, we need to think of it as an opportunity to bring stadiums full of screaming people, streets full of people who want art, who want beauty in their lives. We need to get rid of boundaries. We need to explode the boxes in which we have put ourselves in this industry. And to get rid of those boxes so that we can welcome new generations into this field that we love so much. It's about taking classical music out of classical music. It's about connecting it with other art forms to make it more relevant to our times, to make it socially relevant and connected to the politics, to the business, to the happenings of the world. It's about feeling alive, really, deep down. And that's what I want as an artist myself. As a festival 
artistic director, I see myself as a designer and a creator of a bigger form of art. This festival is constantly innovating. It's about hitting on the head the perception that classical music is stale. It's about creating a different festival every year. And we've chosen to explore a different theme every year. The first year in 2011, we called it Man and Muse. It was an introduction of Beethoven and of our concept. In 2012, we called it Revolution. And we explored ideas coming out of the French Revolution that connected to Beethoven's story, as well as the idea of the revolutions in our time. This year, we're calling it Love 2013, and we're exploring the connection between Beethoven's own love stories, especially uh, the one around the immortal beloved, and how we perceive love and experiment with love in our times and with our generations. Beethoven Festival Love 2013 runs from September 6th to September 15th. We have 35 visual artists involved. We have nine fashion designers. We have over 100 musicians from over 13 countries coming into Chicago for this festival. We have rock, we have jazz, we have electronica, and of course we have tons of classical music and good Beethoven. We open with Bach's St. John Passion. We close with Beethoven's Sixth Symphony. We have 37 world premieres, including one Beethoven world premiere, which was discovered just a few months ago. There's a song appropriately called Liebe, meaning love in German. Our first year, we settled the festival in Pilsen, on the south side of Chicago. Last year, we settled the festival on the north side of Chicago, in Uptown. And this year, we are based at the Merritt School of Music in the West Loop the trendy West Loop of Chicago between Greektown and the Randolph Restaurant District. We're also holding some concerts at the Chicago Temple, which is Chicago's oldest church, settled since 1831, right on Daly Plaza. And we're also holding some concerts at the Chicago Cultural Center in association with the Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events of the City of Chicago. And one of the things we're doing that's going to be a lot of fun is doing eight days of outdoor arts and music on the plaza right across the river from the Lyric Opera of Chicago. Putting together this Beethoven festival has been a labor of love. Over 100 volunteers run this festival from the administrative side, and over 300 people come together to make it happen during the 10-day period in September. We couldn't do it without all of our volunteers, all of our donors, all the wonderful people who've given us in-kind gifts, or their thoughts, or their energy, or their time. We also need as much support as we can get from you, both as ticket purchasers, but also as donors and as supporters. Please spread the word about Beethoven Festival and allow us to continue this incredible experiment. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon.